But that's a huge three points in a clean sheet. You must be delighted. Yeah, um, yeah, really happy with that today. As you said, uh, a good three points against a very good team and uh, a clean sheet to boost. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pleased with that today. And those conditions, it was important we started well to get the goal at a good time as well. Yeah, I think it was important that we started the game properly. Um, we did mention that before the game. Let's get let's get on the front foot, and I thought the goal was excellent. We, we moved the ball out wide, great cross in the box, and Sal scored a great header. And uh, you know, we sort of had that wee bit of momentum in that first half. I thought we played some nice stuff. Um, I also thought El uh, Elgin played some nice stuff as well. The game was fairly open, and uh, a lot of credit to them. They're a good side, so uh, we had to work hard for our, our, our victory today. We rode a luck at times. Had a, a couple of chances, but ultimately it was quite a resolute and strong. Part performance by the back four? Aye, I think, they, I think they've had two chances in the game. I think we've had maybe six chances in the game. Um, I think we had a, a couple of good chances in the first half that we never capitalised on. And even in the second half, I thought we could have possibly, you know, maybe scored maybe one or two more goals. We had a little bit more composure up the park. Um, but you're right, um, I thought that the shape of the team today was great defensively. I thought the unseen work off the ball from uh, the two centre midfield players was outstanding. Um, and uh, I think they con contributed um, immensely to our performance today. And, uh, you know, so listen, it's a, it's a really good three points. It was an important three points and uh, it sets us up nicely for uh, the game at Cove next week. Young Josh, jo Josh Doig got left back, picked up man of the match. It was a really composed performance, probably showing levels of maturity beyond his years. Yeah, um, he's a he's a very talented football player. He's very young, mm -hmm. and he's still learning. And uh, but I thought he was excellent today. Um, he probably will end up being a left centre half. But if he continues playing the way he does, he did today. You know, um, you never know. He might end up being a left back and attacking left back. But a, f a fantastic young player, and uh, you know, great attributes. Very composed, um, and uh, a lovely football player to boot. It was an excellent finish from David Galt to just kind of seal the win yeah. it was, that came at a good time as well though it did um, you know I think the game was sort of flattening out at that point um, again the game was quite open they pushed men forward they went to a 4-2-4 four, four, four. Um, but galtley has got that in his locker and we just need to try and encourage him to do that as often as possible um, you know drive in cut inside either deliver a cross or have a shot and uh, you know it was a, an excellent goal today must also be pleasing that the, the win moves us up in the table is it just a case of taking a game at a time now and looking to build on that yeah. League forum that yeah. we're um, there's lots of good teams in the league, um, and uh, you know again Elgin are a good team. They're on a good forum. Still, and Albion have showed by the result today they're a good team. Cowan Beath, you know, and the, the the teams above us. So, you know, there's a lot of work ahead of us. But um, you know, if we can just keep this uh, you know momentum going, then hopefully we can get ourselves into a good position come the end of the season. Thanks, Ray. Cheers. Thanks.